it wasn't just that I owned Germany. It's that I employed half of Germany. Like I said, the, um, Renault or whatever, or the people that I was with, with doing Renault, um, uh, those for early car people, uh, like I said, my people, we owned, we owned the planet. We owned, we owned Germany. We had built Germany. We had built most countries. So, you know, we really knew every inch of every, of, of every, every nook, every cranny of, of, of Germany, of Russia, of America. My people knew everything about everything. Like we knew every inch. So, you know, I mean, when, and my people knew what, what needed to be done. Like I say, I mean, my people knew which psychopaths there were out there. Like, like I couldn't exactly see it or, you know, I think I did see it at the time or I did know about it, but you know, I mean, chasing down, I mean, I mean, my troops go into a town and it's like, everyone's dead. And you're like, you know, everyone, everyone. And it's like, all right, um, spread out, I guess. Uh, I mean, you know, <clears throat> my people were chasing down, were coming up to these towns and there was like everyone dead or, or there'd be like a sickness in a town. So I'd send my people there. I forget exactly how it worked out, but, or how it was working out. But I mean, because a lot changed, a lot happened. Um, but basically, you know, we owned, we owned Germany. We owned basically the whole world pretty much i mean and the pretty pretty much the world was happy we, we not only owned we we had fed and there was this huge population expansion because of all of the technology and all of the things we did you know that the, the better farming the mechanized farming everybody was, was 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 loving was loving the food and everything anyway and then a couple of people wanted to try and play government or god or whatever and wanted to try and say that like they were entitled to this they were entitled to that and 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 they had access to the people's money which was really my money really <clears throat> you know i mean like the people had faith in me not in um not in these other people so you know and then with my death or my whatever and then they were trying to tell the people that I was dead when I wasn't and trying to tell them this and trying to tell them that. And basically it was chaos and a lot of death and a lot of carpet bombing. And then, you know, like I say, once the black people got to a point of technology or got to a point of whatever, I mean, I don't know, it's whoever stole the planes. People were stealing planes and then they were bombing things. Like it could have, like I didn't know if it was Adolf Hitler or who exactly. I mean, I kind of did. I don't know. You know, what I did in time and space and what I did after the fact as Brian, that those are different things a little bit. But um, because I had a little bit more of an accurate view. Well, I, actually, I don't think I really saw it so much when I was actually doing when I was actually move, maneuvering and stuff, because, you know, it's just one guy raping and killing and stuff. And then later on, you know, when, when I'm tracking, when I'm trying to track this guy down, like, um, I mean, finding one person in a whole country is never easy. Especially if they're killing people and lying like crazy about it, you know. I mean, it was it was kind of hard to, to to figure them out. Anyway, though, but you know, because because they always because when you're when you're the leader or when when you're when you're God, you know, they're always like, "Yes, Massa, we believe in you," you know. And then and then when you're not or or what or when people you know when people don't know you are, you know, they're like they're like. F you, you know, and, and stuff like that. It's like, wow, what a change. <laughs> but, um, but anyway, though, but, but, um, you know, and then, and then, and then he thought that, that I had been removed from power and that I couldn't do anything at all. It's like, well, not really. I could still do stuff. Uh, because I was still massively wealthy and, and had the faith of a lot of people. So, you know, and mostly I just, you know, made it so, I mean, I knew he was going to, they were going to come after us and I knew they were going to come after me. So it's like, well, just be prepared, wait for it. And sure enough, they attacked, uh, at, at certain cities at the, um, at the, oh, it's called, um, Taj Mahal. Uh, we were attacked there, uh, like four times. Um, and they were trying to get the gold or I think the, the mostly they, they, they were after the, um, the, uh, the morphine. They wanted the morphine, um, for some strange reason. I don't know why it's like, mm, whatever. It's weird. Um, so, or something like, I don't know. I think it was just an excuse. I think, 
you know, that I would always ask, well, what would they want, you know, and stuff like that. And it's like, you know, I, it always seemed like it was an excuse, like just an excuse to kill people or just to whatever. You know, I don't know. You know, it's hard, kind of hard when, 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 you're, when you're a businessman and you're going up against psychopaths. So anyway, yeah, it was a nightmare, but anyway. But, I mean, I was always careful. I always had security. Like I said, um, yeah, I still found out, like, like how they killed that girl. Like, like I had paid that girl to, to go to that ball or whatever, and it was, like, Nixon or John McCain or something went like this to her, and, and like, she pushed him away, and then they took her into, into the back staircase, and I don't know if it was a black guy or who, but, but, they, were, but they raped her. And then they wanted, and then they, and then they had to give, they asked for, for the necklace or whatever, and um, and uh, and they couldn't take it off because it had that lock on it. So they just took her out into into the woods and buried her, and left her body out there. And then and then the and then it hit and, the, and then the story hit the news that the, that the necklace was stolen. And um, and then like I said, the private security showed up, and then all the reporters showed up, and then you know I think it was like like one of, one of the people was was it's like well <laughs> you're fucked now you know because it's like where and then there's this na national manhunt for for the necklace and thinking that that, that she stole it so her, her name and her picture is everywhere and and they're asking you know who was she last with where did she go you know and everything else like that and and then nobody saw her leave so so she had to be there somewhere you know and then it's like well you know so then so they, so they actually, like I said, they dug up her body and then cut off her head. And so my people knew that because the necklace was still attached, was still, well, they, they said, oh yeah, we reclasped it because <laughs> they didn't have the little magnetic lock to release it. So it was like Nixon or maybe the King of Africa or something like that, or someone had gone, gone down on this girl and just like, like kissed her. Like, I think they said he... He just went for her, it went for her, for her like this, and I went, oh, you know, like that. And basically, she like was more shocked than anything else because he just like attacked her, and he she like pushed him away, and and uh, and then he like went at her again or something like that, or just like and lifted her off the ground or something like that by her neck. They said, and then the, there was a door behind her or something, and he like pushed her through the door or something like that. I don't really know the exact details of it. But um, that's what really happened. And then they consider it national security. And um, yeah, but I found out because, well, I own the necklace. So it was John McCain or they, they said Jack or John or someone like that. So probably anyway, one of the people there. Um, so that's what really happened with the necklace. You know, he went, to, he raped her, and then I think twenty of his other guys raped her, and uh, and she wouldn't shut up or something like that or something. So they strangled her, killed her, and buried her body, and then <laughs> took her out in a suitcase. So that's what really happened to to that necklace. You know, and um, and you know, anyway. So yeah kind of a sucky end for the girl and I was more worried about the girl than anything else because I you know I was like well she needs money but no it wasn't about that of course you know she had embarrassed him or something like that and so I don't know and we're from in the country from he's from a man has a right to kill a woman it's like whatever dude you're a psychopath get the fuck out of my country <laughs> anyway so yeah had I known you know, I would have, um, anyway, I would actually get the fuck out of my, pl off my planet. Anyway, um, so anyway, like things, you know, a bunch of people who weren't that powerful trying to be that powerful. And really they were, like I say, they're only as powerful as the gun in their hand and the 30 or so guys around them. Anyway, whatever. Just, uh, I still feel bad about the girl. Oh, well.